Um, hello, internet friends. It is I, and today, what I would like to talk about, I would say with you guys, but I don't even know if I'm talking to anybody. At this point, I am talking to myself and hoarding my videos because I can't edit them for some reason. Like, I can edit them, but I don't want to. So, I need to get my stuff together and bite the bullet and just do it. So at this point, I would say, hey, you guys, uh, what's up? But I'm just going to say hello to myself, filming videos, talking to myself and hoarding them for no reason, for no gain. Like I just have hordes of videos of myself talking because I don't know. I really want to, my YouTube channel to be successful and it scares me a little bit to put myself so out there. So, I don't know. I'm kind of putting it off because I'm scarring myself. I'm, I'm, back, I'm trying to back myself out of it, but it's what I've wanted for so long that I need to just bite the bullet and do it. But, <laughs> uh, furthermore, on to the video about you can't help the unwilling. Uh, so in my life, I have seen and I have a lot of people in my life who they are broken inside, they are hurt, they, it seems as if they're very sad and all they do is complain and mope around and cry and it's very sad to see the people you love living like this or live in a certain way for a matter of fact like if somebody you love is living a way that you tr that you truly don't agree with not saying that i'm going to try to push you to live how i'm living or saying that i'm going to push you my beliefs in my stuff on you but if you're doing something that's unhealthy for you physically or emotionally or something like that I am always that friend I am always that person I'm always that b word to step in and say hey um you're obviously not happy something is not right in your life and I want to help you like what can I do to help you you look miserable. The thing that I learned from that is you can't help the unwilling. Like you can tell somebody, you can give somebody a list, a long freaking list of things that will make their life better. Like you can be like, I have done all of these things and I love my life now. I love myself, blah, blah, blah. It's amazing. But if that person that you're talking to doesn't want to change, you can't change them. You can't force them to be something that they're not. And what they are is miserable. And they obviously want to be miserable. No, what, no matter what it was in their past that encourages them that they now want to be miserable. Whether they're holding on to something. Whether, I don't know. But, I don't know. You just simply cannot help the unwilling. I've got a few people in my life that I love very dearly and are very close to my heart and they are in unfor <laughs> unfortunate circumstances. I started to mispronounce that. That's why I was smiling. Not because they're in a bad circumstance, just because I was, I don't know. I just smile a lot, I'm sorry. Um, the person that you're talking to doesn't want to change, you can't change them. You can't force them to be something that they're not, but yeah, there are people who are very near and dear to my heart who are in bad situations and you can sit them down, you can talk to them, you can have an intervention, you can try to change them, you can try to, you can try whatever you want, but nothing is going to change, nothing is going to be helpful until that person wants to change themselves. So say you have somebody who's addicted to drugs and you want to help them you are like here you need to go to rehab here is everything they can go through that rehab and they can get clean and they can fix themselves and they can they can what it seems to be is it seems as if they're cured it seems as if nothing is wrong but in reality they're just masking 
what they want with what you want. So, because you're forcing them and you're making them feel bad. And they know. People who do drugs, people who abuse their spouses, people who have eating problems, people who have this, people who have that, they all know what they're doing to their body. Like, I don't know. You know what you're doing, I feel like, and the only person that can change, the only person that can change you is you. The only person that can help somebody through a hard circumstance is yourself. Like, yes, it's nice to have other people as a crutch, but until you decide what you want and the and until you decide that you want to change to be happier, to be a better you, that is when you have won and you will change for the better and you won't relap or go back into your old ways or you won't I don't know. I hope this makes sense. I hope this video makes a little bit of sense. I just wanted to give a little brief talk on how you cannot help the unwilling. I've got a couple other cases in my life about how you can't help the unwilling. A couple other stories. Um, another story from a friend I have. This girl I went to school with after we graduated. There were like five of us or... There were four of us that were very close, and we uh, went to my dad's lake house, and she, this girl, let me tell you about the epitome of scum. This girl's boyfriend was just scum. All he wanted to do was do reckless stuff, melt his brain, blah, 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 <laughs> melt his brain, as in not try to want better for yourself or for your significant other or anybody else. This man was so insecure about himself, he projected it onto his girlfriend every day. Every day this man projected the insecurities and mama problems or whatever his issue was, he projected it on to his girlfriend. And I, I'm not okay with that. I am not okay to see my friends get hurt and to get crushed and to get just by their man. Even if it's emotionally, I am not down for that. That's disgusting. If your man treats you like that, you gotta go. But anyhow, we all went to the lake house, the lake that my father owns, and we were chilling up there for the weekend. And on the second night, okay, the whole trip, he didn't want to go. This man didn't want to go, and he was talking about, I didn't know this trip was going to happen, blah, 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 you're basically forcing me to go, no, 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 like, bruh, nobody is forcing you to go, if you don't want to go, you don't have to go, nobody likes you, you're bitter, we don't want you to go in the first place, so you're not invited, your girlfriend's invited, she's just bringing you along, because we all also have male friends that we were bringing along, boyfriends, whatever they were to those girls. I brought my boyfriend, they brought significant others, but anyhow, or I guess they were boyfriends, yeah, they were, they were, they all had couples, but this one girl, her boyfriend treated her so bad, and it, oh, it drove me so crazy, but uh, this dude, the whole time, the whole trip, he was like, I don't want to be here, this is, this is awful, blah, blah, blah. All I want to do is get turned. And he would just like, the whole time he was a butthole. The whole time we were there, he was just a jerk. He was just, nobody wanted him there. And then two days when we got into it, something happened. And him and his girlfriend were up in the loft upstairs and we were all sitting downstairs playing a card game and him and his girl were up there and they started fighting like i'm talking like like doing this and like they were just i thought he was beating her i thought this man was beating my friend so me being all a five foot nothing i climbed my little butt up that stairwell and was like, hey, what are you guys doing? 
And, um, yeah. And apparently they were just packing up because he was mad about something that had happened before because he was so insecure and we were all in bathing suits because we were at the lake and he was like, that guy's looking at you, blah, blah, blah. So he was insecure and he wanted to leave after we were all turning up. Uh, he wanted to leave. So I, and they were just making a big ruckus and a big noises and sounds so in my dad's house I was like this is not happening I am not letting my friend get beat like even if I was in their house I am not gonna sit by and watch somebody get beat like if you're gonna beat me if I'm trying to protect somebody beat me then I want you to because it's harder to beat two people than it is one so if my beating so if you're gonna share a beating between the two of us, do it, because I am not going to watch my friend get pummeled. Pummeled. I don't even know if that's a word. But a uh, case came to be, she wasn't even getting beat. They were just packing up their stuff and, like, like putting all their... Okay, so after I had ran myself up the stairwell to yell at those two, I started being like hey what's going on i need to know more blah 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 i'm sorry i thought you were getting beat like i just don't want you to get beat i didn't say it that calmly but that's kind of what i said and the girl was like <laughs> she was like sob crying and i i will break my back for you i will i will break my back for you i will break somebody else's back for you but if you're crying I don't know what to do for you. Like, I am so sorry that you are crying right now, but I am more concerned about if your physical body is okay and if your a-hole of a boyfriend is going to survive the alcohol poisoning that he just gave himself because he didn't want to be there the whole time, so he was drinking a crazy amount because he didn't want to be there, so he was just glug, 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 like drinking a lot. After I had ran upstairs because I thought my friend was getting beat, uh, her boyfriend said something along the lines of F off. So that just threw some M and F and gas into my M and F and fire. And let me tell you what, I called my boyfriend up there. I was like, babe! Get up here! He just told me to F off! And then, um, so my boyfriend comes running up the stairs as well, and everybody's sitting down at the table, and they're all like, because, like, everybody else is just a wussy. Everybody else can't handle real stuff. Like, I, like, whew, my heart's beating so fast. I'm, like, reliving this. But, um, <laughs> this is the last time I ever even saw that girl because I guess, I don't, I don't know. But this is the last time I ever saw her. I hope she's doing well. She's in a different relationship now. So, yes, I understand that changing your life is hard. I understand, but it's doable. But I'm just trying to get through some, some people's heads that it's not doable until... You make it doable. Until you want it, it's not doable. So, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope this shines some light on a situation. I don't think it has. It was just me rambling but and telling aggressive stories. But, <laughs> I hope it helped somebody. Um, I do. Uh, I've worked myself up. I didn't think this video was going to be very long, but I think it is going to be. Oh, I've worked myself up. My heart's beating fast. I've gone through a treacherous journey to videotape this video or to record this video. It has been a hassle, always, with everything else I do. But I am going to get it done. I was on a mission today. I was like, I feel motivated. All these freaking obstacles are in my way. But guess what? I'm going to jump through them. I'm going to hurdle them today. If it was yesterday, probably not. If it was the day before that, probably not.
Probably not, but today was the day and I jumped through all the hurdles that needed to be jumped through. My bad, it's just a joke. I'm sorry if you're offended. But this guy, but it's not doable until you make it doable. Until you want it, it's not doable.